Today we're going to look at, you know, how does temperature change the rate things dissolve. So I have set up here some dollar store candy canes and beakers and I'm going to add water of different temperatures. Got uh, 5 degrees Celsius, that's usually about what ice water ends up as. Tap water, straight from the tap, hot tap water, and then finally water from the kettle that's just come off the boil. So I'm going to add the same amount of water to each one, two, about 200 milliliters, and we're going to see how does this affect the way things melt, or how, do, how, do the, how does this affect the way things dissolve, sorry, how does this affect the way our candy canes, what happens to them. So here's our cold water, and just add a little ice in there to keep things chilly, and then regular cool tap water. Okay, and then hot tap water. It's a little steamy there. And then finally, water from our kettle. This has just come off the boil, and there we go. Okay, and I think you can see things are already happening. We've got some action going with our hot water. So I'm going to stop this and we're going to switch to time lapse and I'll put a little timer here so we can see how long things are actually going. Okay, we're back. It's about six minutes later, and we can see we've got some changes have happened. Uh, our ice water has some condensation, but if we clear the window, we can see the, the stripes on our candy cane are still mostly intact. Some has come off. A little more has dissolved off in our room temperature water. Our hot tap water, we can see the candy cane is noticeably smaller, so quite a bit more has dissolved off the sides. And then our hot water from the kettle, almost boiling, you can see there's, there's just a few little pieces of the candy cane are left, so quite a bit more has dissolved. So we can say, what can we say about the effect of temperature on dissolving sugary things?